Hello and welcome. So, with update 1.24 for Grand Turismo 7, it has brought us yet again another glitch to get the Alpine A220 to under 600 performance points, which means you can use it around Tokyo Expressway. This comes just in time because they just patched the Tomahawk glitch. So, I just want to say this. If you have used the Alpine for another money glitch in the past, there's a chance that you have installed a racing crankshaft. And if that is so, the glitch will not work. So what you will have to do is go to the tuning shop, purchase a new engine. Don't stress, you're not going to lose your ECU, your turbocharger or anything else. But it will just remove the crankshaft because you need to do that in order for this glitch to work. The tune comes from this YouTuber, I don't want to butcher his name, but I just want to give all the credit to him because without him uploading, I would not know this tune. So I just want to say, if you're looking for more glitches and such, do check out his channel. As you can see, he has a glitch that is working. So go and check him out. Without him, this video wouldn't be possible. So I basically just want to test it out and show you guys that, hey, it does work. But all credit to my guy right there. I'm going to quickly show you how to do the event if you don't remember or if you have never done it before. Now, the Alpine, for those that are wondering, this car is purchasable from the legendary dealership. That means you aren't going to be able to purchase it at any given time. It goes in a rotation. So, if you don't have it, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to wait and hopefully the glitch is still out by then. Regardless, I still think you need to pick this vehicle up because glitch or no glitch, it's still really good. Okay, starting off, traction control on 3. Personal preference, I run it on 3, but I suggest you run it because it does help the car from sliding which does decrease tire wear. So, with the fuel map, on the straightaway, the long straightaway, fuel map one until you get to the first turn then drop it to fuel map three and just do the rest of the lap with it and then when you get to the straightaway once again fuel map one so fuel map one only on the straightaway rest of the circuit fuel map three with the first three laps of this race the circuit is still wet end of the third lap it begins to dry out so for the first three laps i suggest Take it slowly, don't push it, you don't want to run into a barrier and get a 5 second penalty. Also, if you do touch a barrier with mechanical damage, it does really slow the car, so try not to body slam any barriers. With this car, it is a one stop strategy. So, at the end of the 7th lap, going into the 8th lap, I suggest you go, you pull in, fill fuel, fill over the recommended amount, use your own discretion but i like to fill over give it a few more laps and run it on fuel map one also you are going to need to change your tires because by lap seven your tires are going to be really showing wear because you are using racing soft tires now they aren't good for long endurance races so they are going to wear out really quickly so in the lap seven i suggest otherwise this is what's gonna happen. Cause it's gonna be sliding all over the place and it's not gonna be good. So this race is you are able to do it under 25 minutes. The first run that I did, because I haven't used a car in a decent minute, it took me 26 minutes. However, a few races later, three to be exact, I set this time. Now, as you can see, under 25 seconds, no problem, you just need to get used to the car, used to the circuit, and you can really predict what the AI does. So, that about wraps it up. Hope you guys did enjoy this, this did help. Uh, the gearing did not touch any settings to a gearing or modify it whatsoever, that is standard gearing. So, once again, I wanna say a shout out to the founder of this glitch out him this wouldn't be possible i just want to post this so it can get more views do go check out his channel he posts a ton of money guides go subscribe there and if you feel like it subscribe there too 
so with all that being said i hope you guys did enjoy this if you are looking for more grand Turismo content consider checking this video out yeah peace